Good morning, Southridge. My name is Mrs. Davids, and I teach first grade. Today I'd like to read you a story called Waiting. The reason why I chose this story is because it feels like these days that's what we're doing, is a lot of waiting. We're waiting to hear what's going to happen. We're waiting to know when we can see our friends again or when we can visit our families again. And we're just learning that we're gonna have to just be patient and wait and see what happens next. I hope you all enjoy this story. Waiting by Kevin Hankies. There were five of them and they were waiting. The owl with the spots was waiting for the moon. The pig with the umbrella was waiting for the rain. The bear with the kite was waiting for the wind. The puppy on the sled was waiting for the snow. The rabbit with stars wasn't waiting for anything in particular. He just liked to look out the window and wait. When the moon came up, the owl was happy. It happened a lot. When the rain came down, the pig was happy. The umbrella kept her dry. When the wind blew, the bear was happy. The kite flew high and far. When it finally snowed, the puppy was happy. He'd waited a very long time. The rabbit was just happy looking out the window. Sometimes one or the other of them went away, but he or she always came back. Sometimes they slept, but mostly they waited. Sometimes gifts appeared. Once a visitor arrived from far away. He stayed a while. Then he left and never returned. They saw many wonderful interesting things. And of course, there was always the moon and the rain and the wind and the snow to keep them happy. One day, a cat with patches joined them. Was she waiting for the moon? No. Was she waiting for the rain? No. Was she waiting for the wind? No. Was she waiting for the snow? No. She didn't seem to be waiting for anything in particular. Oh, but she was. Now there were ten of them, and they were happy together. Waiting to see what would happen next. Thanks for reading that story with me. I hope that we don't have to wait too much longer and that we can see each other again really soon. Have a great day, Southridge.